Sorry, Mr. Call. Yeah, no problem, 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Home to the high and mighty. Skyscrapers full of apes, big shots and gated communities. They can keep it. Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. I've not been for a long time. Ah, gas town. That's the dream, well, if you're a bourgeois snob who dreams of overpriced salad. It is nice and clean though. Where all the fishing boats hang out. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars too. Lower middle classville. It's not gas town, but it's respectable enough. I grew up there, on the border with West End. That's where the stuff gets made. Doing honest work with your hands, not a bad life, really. Where most of our food is grown. Widest open spaces in the city. More restrictions on public visits every year. Ah, Pianetti. You beautiful, dangerous renegade you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. My diploma project, Places of Absolute Solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools leaving places they shouldn't be in. Mama Helen Loader taught me everything I know. And I've spent years trying to unlearn half of it. Insurance frauds, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably been some of these old case files. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash. So, never. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Hard to get tired of this view. The Great Apes, The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Everything knows its proper place. I'll watch this later. Probably not. That must be Mrs. Green. Excuse me? I'm looking for Detective Loader. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green? Odette will do. I, um, well, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. You tried to talk to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult. Like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Court? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? I, I can't take any chances anymore. When did you realize he might be unfaithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant, a kind of herbal stink. He's skipping work? I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. And you caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met. 
Or at least I thought so. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Loader. Odette, personal details can make or break a case. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know if he's dangerous. Fine. He has a mean temper, unpredictable. That's all you need to know. He threatened to take the kids? He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. Odette, this is not your fault. I know. You're right. Thanks for sharing. I know this can't be easy. Yes. I'm finally being brave. For them, at least. Let's nail this bastard. I'm taking the case. Sure. What do you need to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Usually, at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Where does he work? At the Woof Bank, on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work, I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. What's his full name? Any aliases? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. That should be enough. There's just the matter of my fee. I can give you 100 now, and 50 when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes. Plus any unexpected expenses. Please, be careful. Nobody can know we spoke. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. I understand. I'll get started immediately. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Hey, if isn't Mr. Howie. What's a rascal like you up to a fine evening like this? My beaver! How are Estrella and the kid? They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good, great. We even, bless the shepherd, Got a second lad due soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another! Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks. He's a big one too, as he is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story, I tell her. Woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Huh. Funny. And so, she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. Oh boy. Women. Man. Yeah, okay. Women. Mysterious creatures. They love bread. So we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, Oh no, a bro? What is it? What was it, Tolly? So I tell him, Mama and Papa worked hard, so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Sure is. Lil Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. 
Oh, daddy, we're going to be so happy. Me and baby bro will play all the time. And I say, sure, son. But here's the catch. Yup. You and mama gonna have to look after him. Because two babies means zero daddies. Because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Ha ha. Jizz. Are you alright, man? I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what did you say you were doing here? I'm looking for a guy. Here's a picture. You seen him ever? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel of laughs kinda guy. Smell, really bad. Took him back from the bit a couple of times. Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of time. His smell did enough talking for both of us, ha. Huh? He smelled? Of what, exactly? Ah, uh, you know, poopy kinda smell. Stale booze and perfume, herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Any idea where he'd be now? Guess the bite is as good a guess as nay. It's a goopy place though, eh? Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. They did a great job restoring the rogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend actually. Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight, only at the bite. Wolfbank. Is this where Green works? Yeah. You folks work at the Wolfbank, right? Yeah, why? Is Jez around? And who are you? Wallace. Asshole owes me money, I've been looking for him everywhere. You and me both, pal. And Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. Oh, he'll pay, if I can find him. Seen him today? Course, but the wimp ass left work early. He's scared Drek's gonna split his wig. Where do you think he headed? What do you think, boys? Home to nagging bitch of a wife? To the gutter where he belongs? Only apes know! He got a girlfriend or something. If you reckon harlots are sort of girlfriends, then sure. Could be with one of them for all I know. Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Did you guys spend time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday. Until he turned into a needy leech. The bite? Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle rack. I'll do just that. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Get me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal? Um, sure. Bye. Fourteen point nine nine for a trim? I'll stick to the mirror, a pair of scissors, and a large whiskey. Ah oh, crap. Downey's on duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Rich people clothes. 
One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, memories. Let's see, socks, takeaway boxes, six. Aha! A ticket to the bite! Thanks, trash bin! still tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time. What do you want? I have the ticket right here. What is this? Ha! Huh. You're a funny little fella. So, can I get it now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so no. But thanks for a good laugh. You're welcome. Can I get in? No! Don't test my patience. Alright, I'll talk to you later. damned. It's been a while. Larry? What are you doing here? How are you doing, old man? I'm doing okay. I'm looking for someone. Still got the detective gig? Sure. How are you? I'm happy to see you. My own gig went downhill a while back. Didn't expect to see you here. Who really expects to see anyone of note in a back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? Wait, do you live here? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help you in any way? Not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Nothing serious just messed up his marriage. Eh, like they do. What's he like? He's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Though break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Have any ideas of how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? You're typical, like hype and shatterfawn. Oh, get this. He started rolling something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Monkey butt? Yeah, word is the new thing's the shit though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky things. Does it have kind of herbal stink? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. And you think this Johnny guy'd help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth, so lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth, the Bear family? Crime family. Last year head of the family up and died, and shit hit the fan. Air ended up prison. And the current owner is a relative? Yeah, she's the illegitimate daughter or something. Whoa. What are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover. Or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. Alright, hopefully that's enough to let me into the bite. Thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. 
I'll see you. Yo, old man. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? I'm Howard Loader. Pleased to meet you. Fitting name for a grown-ass dude in a trench coat. What do you need? Heard you deal monkey butt. The fuck? Where did you get that stupid idea, Striper? A friend. Well, you need better friends. I don't have shit. But you know where to get it. Square things with the bouncer for me, and you'll make a big sale. Hank doesn't let any old chump in, for a good reason. Say I make you simpatico, what does Johnny get in return? I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite. I'll owe you one. You shitting me? Prove it, punk! Look at me. I am a raccoon in a trench coat. Yeah. So all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too. And the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a crap cake. We're hearing that from a fellow with so much for Joe that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? Shut your mouth. Or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. You're so ugly when you're angry. Stop chatting about my face. Don't look at it. Someone in that club needs my help. Do you understand that concept? So you're a good Samaritan? And who's gonna save your dumb ass? Not that I give two fucks. Just, uh, I'll talk to Hank. Fuck off now. That wasn't so hard, was it? What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer? Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. <laughs> 